If a body catch a body, come and sue the bar. If a body catch a body, come and sue the bar. If a body catch a body, come and sue the bar. If a body catch a body, come and sue the bar. If a body catch a body, come and sue the bar. If a body catch a body, come and sue the bar. If a body catch a body, come and sue the bar. Damn, it's cold outside. Where the hell is everybody? It's like a goddamn morgue around here. Oh, thanks for letting me your jacket. Did you write my composition for me? It's over on the goddamn trunk. For Christ's sake, Holden, this is about a goddamn baseball glove. So what? What do you mean, so what? I told you it had to be about a goddamn house or something. You said it had to be descriptive. What the hell's the difference if it's about a goddamn baseball glove? God damn it. You're always doing everything back asswards. No wonder you're flunking the hell out of here. I mean, like, you don't, you don't do one damn thing the right way. I mean it, not one damn thing. Alright, give it back to me then. What the hell did you do that for? Back pretty gone in late if you only sign out for 9.30. Should make her late signing back in or something? Couple of minutes. Who the hell signs out for 9.30 on a Saturday night? Could go to New York? You're crazy. How the hell could we go to New York if she only signed out for 9.30? That's tough. Listen, if you're gonna go smoke in the room, how about going down to the can and doing it? You may be getting the hell out of here, but I have to stick around long enough to graduate. Did you give her my regards? Yeah. Well, what'd you say? Did you ask her if she still keeps all of her kings in the back row? No, I didn't ask her. What do you think we did all night? Play checkers for Christ's sake? If you didn't go to New York, where'd you go with her? Cut it out. If you didn't go to New York, where'd you go with her? Just sat in the goddamn car. Cut it out. Whose car? At a bankies. What'd you do? Give her the time and old Banky's goddamn car. Well, thing to say. Want me to wash out your mouth with soap? Did you? Did you? That's a professional secret, buddy. What's the matter with you? What the hell's the matter with you? Get your lousy hand off my chest. Go on, get off of me, you crummy bastard. You son of a bitch. You don't even know if a girl keeps her kings in the back row or not because you're a goddamn stupid moron. Shut up now, Holden. Just shut up. Now. You don't even know if her first name is Jane or Jean, you goddamn moron. Now shut up, Holden. God damn it. I'm warning you. If you don't shut up, I'm going to slam you on. Get your dirty, stinking moron hand off my chest. Holden, if I let you up, will you keep your goddamn mouth shut? Holden, if I let you up, will you keep your mouth shut? Yes. You're a dirty, stupid son of a bitch of a moron. Holden, goddammit, I'm warning you. If you don't keep your mouth shut, I'm good. Why should I? That's just the trouble with all you morons. You never want to discuss anything. That's how you can always tell a moron. You never want to discuss anything intelligent. Why the hell don't you shut up when I tell you to? You, 
You asked for it, goddammit. You're a moron son of a bitch, you know that? Listen, just just go wash your face, you hear me? Go wash your own moron face. And stop off on the way to the can, why don't you? Give Mr. Schmidt the time. Yeah. What the hell are you doing anyway? What do you mean, what the hell am I doing? I was trying to sleep before you guys started making all that noise. What the hell was that about anyway? Where's the light? It's right over there. <sighs> Jesus, what the hell happened to you? I don't know, goddamn tiff with Strether. Listen, I feel like playing. You're still bleeding, for Christ's sake. You better put something on that. It'll stop. Listen, you wanna play a little canasta or don't you? Canasta, for Christ's sake. You know what time it is by any chance? It isn't late. It's only around 11, 11.30. Only around? Listen, I gotta get up and go to mass in the morning, for Christ's sake. You gotta start hollering and fighting over there and all the goddamn... What the hell was that fight about anyway? It's a long story, Ackley. I don't wanna bore you. I'm thinking of your welfare. Hey, is it okay if I sleep in Eli's bed tonight? He won't be back till tomorrow night, will he? I don't know when the hell he's coming back. What do you mean, you don't know when he's coming back? He never comes back till Sunday night, for Christ's sake, does he? No, but for Christ's sake, you can't just tell somebody that they can sleep in his goddamn bed if you if they want to. You're a real prince, Ackley. Yeah, no, no, I mean, I can't just tell somebody that they can sleep in his bed if they- You're a prince, Ackley. You're a gentleman and a scholar, kid. Listen. You have any cigarettes around by any chance? Say no and I'll drop dead. No, as a matter of fact. What the hell is that fight about anyway? About you. About me? Yeah, I was defending your goddamn honor. Stradlighter said you had a lousy personality. Couldn't let him get away with that stuff. He did? No, no kidding. I was only joking, Ackley kid. This room stinks. I can smell your socks all the way from in the can. Don't you ever send them to the laundry? If you don't like it, you know what you can do? How about turning off the goddamn light? <sighs> Tell me the story of your fascinating life, Ackley kid. How about turning off the goddamn light? I gotta get up from mass in the morning. <sighs> you gonna sleep in Eli's bed tonight? I may. May not. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm like, I'd hate if Eli came in here and found some guy sleeping in his bed. Relax. I'm not gonna sleep here. Wouldn't abuse your goddamn hospitality. I tried not to think about old Jane and Stradlider and that goddamn Ed Banky's car, but it was almost impossible. The trouble was, I knew that guy Stradlider's technique. That made it even worse. We once double dated in Ed Banky's car, and Stradlider was in the back, and with his date, and I was in front with mine. What a technique that guy had. What he'd do was, he'd start snowing his date in this very quiet, sincere voice, like he wasn't only a very handsome guy, but a nice, sincere guy, too. I damn near puked listening to him. His date kept saying, no, please don't. But old Stradlatter kept snowing her in this Abraham Lincoln sincere voice, and finally there would be this terrific silence in the back of the car. It was really embarrassing. I don't think he gave the girl the time that night, but damn near. Damn near. It was so damn depressing out in the street. You couldn't even hear any cars anymore. I got the feeling so lonesome and rotten, I even felt like waking Ackley up. Hey, Ackley. Hey, Ackley. Hey, Ackley! What the hell's the matter with you? I was sleeping, for Christ's sake. Listen, what's the routine on joining a monastery? 
I mean, do you have to be Catholic and all? Certainly you have to be Catholic. Did you wake me up just to ask me dumb questions? <sighs> oh, go back to sleep. I'm not gonna join one anyway. The kind of luck I'd have, I'd probably join one with all the wrong kind of monks in it. All stupid bastards. Or just bastards. Listen, I don't care if you say bad things about me, for Christ's sake. But if you say things about my goddamn religion... Relax. Nobody's making cracks about your goddamn religion. What's the idea? No idea. Just wanted to thank you for being such a goddamn prince, Ackley kid. You're all aces, you know that? Wise guy. Someday somebody's gonna bash your brains up. If a body catch a body, come and sue the rod. If a body catch a body, come and sue the rod. If a body catch a body, come and sue the rod. If a body catch a body, come and sue the rod. If a body catch a body, come and sue the rod. Action. What'd you do? Give her the time and the oh, got him. That banky car. <laughs> okay. God damn it! You're always doing everything back ass words. What? Well, it's such a weird word. <laughs> Action. Flat, flat, flat. <laughs> Action. Ah, oh, when the hell is coming back?